So what do you like best about the current Rawia College course? Well, for me, it just, it, it works on so many levels. You know, I, for one, um, I'm a convert. I've been in Islam now for about eight and a half years. Mm -hmm. and Likewise. <laughs> yeah. And um, I, you know, I work in the medical field. So um, I'm a single mom. Um, I, I, when I came into Islam, I was told, oh, you have to go overseas, travel. You have to learn this, this religion, you know, mm -hmm. that's the best place to start. And, you know, and I really did start to consider it. But then reality, I, I, I have my kids. I have, um, you know, my mother is elderly. I take care of her. Um, mm. I have my job. Yeah. Uh, I do not speak the language. Mm -hmm. I don't speak Arabic. I don't write Arabic, read it. Um, um, you know, all these factors came into play. I'm like, how am I going to do this? You know, I mean, realistically, how can this possibly happen? Mm -hmm. And um, I started, you know, I started going to lectures here and there. And, you know, sometimes I still do here and there. I'll go to a few lectures, but that's just not quite, you know, cutting it. You right. still, you need more, you know, right. you need something steady. Yeah. And it's not, you can't be consistent just traveling from lecture to lecture. Right. Unless it's a set course. Absolutely. And that's Absolutely. the beauty of this course because you can do it anytime. Yes. So um, I started with these classes, and it was just everything that I'm looking for. It's it's perfect. It's um, you know, like you just said, you can do it anywhere and at your own time, your own pace, your own schedule. Um, it's you know, everything is completely. It's beautiful the way that that they teach it. I really wanted the the benefit of studying. Um, studying this at home. Yes. Um, I own a business and my schedule is very busy and yes. I love the idea that I can just be home and, and have Islamic knowledge. For a long time I had been wanting to you know um, expand my studies or like embark on the journey to study Islam more intensively because I felt like I really had a very basic understanding of my religion just the fundamentals mm -hmm. um, and maybe not a full uh, the full load of the fundamentals. So I was really looking for something, I was hoping for something that um, would guide me because I really was lost at where to begin mm -hmm. because, you know, you have a book here. I was really just going based with literature. Mm -hmm. So I have a book here. There's a lecture here, as you know, Sheikh Harima calls it the Skittles methodology, where right. you're lecture hopping. And um, so I felt like this was a true guide um, a guide for me to embark on this journey. And it's mm -hmm. been um, an amazing journey, just like you. Sheikh Arima talked about, in, in the, I'm in module one, which is the sciences of the Quran. And yes. she, each lecture, she talks about having a relationship with Allah's words yes. and even having your, your t private time every day with Allah's words. And I feel like, you know, hearing her it, it affected it really has changed my behavior in terms of me now um, having space in my own home for Allah's words to sit quietly every yes. day have yes. that habit of you know reading the Quran and, and having that that time to reflect not just to read of course you right. know as she says but also to, to really um, reflect on the meaning yes. of it. Yeah, and it reaches so many people. I mean, the flexibility yes. factor alone. Yeah. I mean, I get up, sometimes I can't sleep, it's 2 a.m. and I'm mm -hmm. like, let me go watch a course for an hour. That's it. You know, and then I, I, I get up and I say my morning prayers and I'm like, all right, I have two hours mm -hmm. extra, let me go do this. Yes. And you know, and I work an office job nine to five mm -hmm. and you know, uh, I can't imagine going to a course once a week, every night in the freezing cold in the winter. Right. You know, something I don't have to go anywhere. I can mm -hmm. do it in my pajamas. I can do it when I'm dressed for work. Mm -hmm. I can even do it in the doctor's office with, mm -hmm. on my cell phone, watching a lecture when I have time. If yeah. they tell me they're going to be backed up for an hour. You know, those of us that ride trains to work, mm -hmm. you know, you could you could sit and watch a lecture. Starbucks. Yeah. Any, <laughs> yeah. Any, anywhere you want to do it. And it's and it's amazing. I mean, it's so well organized yes. and the information is easy to understand. And it's, and it's beneficial. I mean, there are brothers and sisters from all around the world participating. Mm -hmm. You have forums where you can answer, uh, you can ask questions, you can read other people's comments. 
Um, you can ask in a private forum if you have a, a, a question that you don't want to share with everyone mm -hmm. else and your questions get answered, Yes, you know, and, and you, it's taken seriously and you can, you feel like you're actually learning at your own pace, a uh, guided pace because there are deadlines, mm -hmm. but you don't have to leave your home. I mean, you could sit at home and do this. Online, online studies is, is amazing. Yeah. I, you know, I, and also if you like the lecture, you can always watch it again. That's, that's it. the beauty of it too. That's it. Maybe you watched it once and, and you couldn't grasp everything, or maybe you just really liked the lecture and you're like, let me watch this again. Right. You right. can always reference them back. You know, I, I sort of take it as like a break, mm -hmm. you know, like, okay, this is my break from everything else in the world and the dunya, you know, let me, let me go do my Islamic studies. Right, right. Yeah. And then you feel like you can hold a conversation with someone regarding certain topics, regarding the Quran or regarding tafsir or understand a different lecture at the mosque when they're referencing something, you know, you, you know where they're talking, exactly. what they're talking about. Yeah. You know, you can relate more to that. Yeah. It's absolutely, you know, it's, it's imperative that we learn. It's far for us to learn. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that so you know in pursuing that i think this is just the best way to go yeah and i know that you have it busy with your with your little ones yes and... <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. yeah so when do you find time to do your lectures i usually do my lectures on sundays okay yeah mm -hmm. you That's, like that yeah i say give me mm -hmm. one hour please and i just Aww. shut myself off from everybody and i just focus yeah 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 i prefer mine saturday mornings mm -hmm. i get a cut, nice cup of coffee mm -hmm. i do that or if i can't sleep I'll, I'll do one in the middle of the night and then i i, I let it you know I, I let the information you know sink in and i take my quizzes right. you know i do that too right yeah. how are you doing so far so far, so good. Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. I'm, I'm aiming for those ten out of tens, <laughs> but you know, I'll take an eight point five out of ten here and there. But you know, it's it's coming along. You know, but that. the important thing is that I'm learning. So even when I see my mistakes, I know that I'm learning, yes. and those quizzes really help, you know, hammer in that knowledge that's coming in through those those lectures. Absolutely. Yeah. So how do you feel about the ease of the course as far as its convenience? Oh, it's very convenient. I, I yeah. sit at my computer. Um, I also can um, hear the lectures on my phone. Mm -hmm. So I like to hear the lectures twice. I just, I really want it to sink into my heart. So um, typically um, I'll, I'll listen to it while I'm, actually while I'm working sometimes. Yeah. I'll just, just so that I, you know, if I'm doing a task that I don't need a lot of focus, yes. I listen to it at work. Okay. And then yeah. I do, I listen to it in a very, um, in, in a quiet room. Then my second listening of the class is in a, is just in a quiet space. I take the hour, usually on a Sunday, to sit down yeah. and, and hear it with my notepad. But what I love the fact that although I'm taking notes, mm -hmm. um, the class the classes have notes attached to it. And those notes are so succinct that I go back to those notes as well. Yes. And um, and it really helps the information sink in. So you work in a doctor's office, right? Yes, I work in a doctor's office. Um, so for working professionals, this is amazing because uh, I mean, you could you could break this up. You could have on your, on your lunch break. Yeah. You know? I mean, a lot of people get an hour for lunch. Mm -hmm. I agree, you know? I've done them on my lunch hours too. You can take yeah. You can take your lunch break and listen to the lecture and eat your lunch and mm -hmm. you know really take all all this in and go back to your your busy mm -hmm. schedule, right. you know. Because yeah. uh, you don't you have time even, to do it right after work. You could even work. break it up yeah. and do like maybe a half of a lecture at lunch mm -hmm. and the other half when you go home. Yeah. You know, it's really up to you. But this completely works for anybody with a hectic schedule. Believe me, I know. I have mm -hmm. my schedule is out of control mm -hmm. the kids the work the yeah, cleaning absolutely. the cooking yeah. the, you know homework and right. business and it's just every single yeah. thing so but it's always you always have to make time for Allah yeah that's true <laughs> that's true but I, you know I work I work too I work you know five days a week just that's like it. you you know I'm an accountant mm -hmm. and I feel sometimes you know at the end of the day, I don't feel like driving somewhere to listen to something I, I just want to kick back at home mm -hmm. and Here's the class. That's it. You know, I can I can pick a weeknight to do it. I can do it in the middle of the night if I can't sleep or right. if I'm up. I can do it early on a Saturday morning. I can do it on my lunch hour mm -hmm. at work. Mm -hmm. You know, I can do it on my commute into work if I'm not driving. Right, right. You know, it's so convenient. You yes. know, and you can pause it. You can start over. You can you can do the quiz later, and it's amazingly convenient. Yes, convenient is definitely yeah. key word there. Yeah, and I think that this is the way education is starting to go like people yes. need flexibility mm -hmm. and it's it's amazing that we have it through like islamic studies to do this. absolutely yeah.